The numbers, sir. Yes. Well, we're a few seconds early, but I'm telling you, we have a litany of numbers. We have a whole line. We're going to try to cover all of them. Of course, initial jobless claims is always a good place to start. Expecting 235,000, Andrew, 221,000 is what we receive. 221,000, that's the lightest level. The find eight number lower than that, you have to go back to the uh, second week of February of 2023. And if we look at continuing claims, a very similar story, a big drop. Wow, we're expecting a number of about 1.7 and a half million. And what we end up with is 1,690,000. 1,690,000. Uh, to find a lower week, you have to go all the way back to the last week in January of this year. And you can see yields already moving up on those particular data points. GDP, better than expected. Second quarter, first look, 2.4%. That is the best start since the last quarter of last year when we were at 2.6%. Consumption, though, a big drop, but it was expected. Uh, 4.2 last quarter, 1.6 this quarter, but expecting 1.2. So it isn't bad when you compare it to expectations, but I do need to mention that it was a big drop. The pricing index, 2.2%. That's a, basically near half of our last look, which was 4.1%. And if we look at the core PCE quarter over quarter, 3.8% versus 4.9%. 3.8%. Uh, to find a lower number, you have to go back to uh, the last quarter of 2020. Now, let's look at durable good orders, shall we? Uh, these are preliminary numbers. They will change much better than expected. 4.7%. Uh, 4.7%, granted it's June preliminary, that is multiples of the 1.3 we were looking for, and uh, it is so hot, uh, 4.5 was the last uh, number read of December of last year. I didn't go back far enough. Who expected 4.7%? X transportation, it's still multiples better than expected, up 6 tenths of 1%. We are expecting one. In the rear view mirror, 7 tenths, but 6 tenths is a good number based on expectations. And the 4.7 to 0.6 is a pretty wide spread. Uh, if we look at capital good orders, non-defense, X air, a proxy for capital spending by businesses, up two tenths, uh, following a revised seven tenths that turns into five tenths. We're definitely uh, losing a little bit of the horsepower that we gained here. We want to pay attention to that in particular. And if we switch gears to the shipment side of the equation, unchanged, that's definitely a bit of a disappointment both in expectations, which were two-tenths, one percent. Rearview mirror was three-tenths, one percent. Now, real quickly, let's get a couple other things out of the way. If we look at advanced durable uh, goods uh, trade deficit, it's at $87.8 billion. That's lower than the 92 we were expecting. Wholesale inventories down three-tenths, one percent. Inventories moving a lot lower than expected. On the retail side, a completely different scenario, almost double the expectations, up seven-tenths, one percent. Uh, the ECB, of course, raised uh, uh, the rates. The euro currency has done nothing but move lower since that occurred. It is now below unchanged. On our side, after the data points, we went from 386 to 388 on a 10-year, which is still rather tame compared to what many were looking at uh, mid to end of last week with respect to where interest rates were going. And if you look at the pre-opening equities, all I can think of is, wow, what a run on the Dow.